Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we got another Articat 650 video and we're gonna fix a mistake that I did. However, this could be applied to automotive as well as other small engines. And this is changing the valve spring without removing the so head. I'm not sure what I was smoking or drinking that day, but I put all the springs in the right way, except for this one here, when we replaced the valve seals. And I didn't notice it till I was in editing so I've already kind of hooked it up and we're going to use this OTC cylinder leakage tester. We're going to put about 25-30 pounds of air in it. In order to stop the piston from creeping, what I did is on the side I put two bolts in and I zip tied a bolt to it so it will creep a little bit but it'll still have air. We don't have to worry about the piston coming down and then the valve dropping in which would really suck. So let's get started. So what I've done is I put a rag in here to help protect the camshaft and also the chain to stop a valve keeper from flying down in there because they have been known to fly out. I got the air line going into the spark plug hole that we're going to connect into the leakage tester and get started. So I got about 30 pounds of air in there. For those who are not sure what's going on, what I did is I modified this valve spring compressor tool, put it on. When you push down the top, it compresses the spring, which will allow me to get the two valve keepers out with a magnet, which you're just about to see. I got a magnet. Sucked one out. Got the other one. The 30 pounds of pressed air I have in the cylinder is allowing the valve to stay up in place without fear of it dropping down below. Take the spring, flip it around. What I'm doing now is installing the valve keepers and the purpose of the valve keepers is to keep the spring and the valve attached so preventing the spring from flying off and the valve from dropping down below into the cylinder. There is a little ridge on it and it has to go the proper way. So pay close attention to the orientation. I'll leave a link at the end to another video where it shows it in better detail in case anybody is curious. There we go, got her in, carefully lift her off, perfect, and we're done. Well I'm going to end the video there, that was pretty quick and dirty. This engine has a habit when you're doing the cylinder leak down test for the piston to creep and go down, that's why I locked it out. It's probably a good idea if you're going to do this as well as to lock it out. Because if you're doing it on a motor or something, you're leaning over, fan, everything turns, you could injure yourself. Always take two, stay out of the line of fire, and I'm going to get going. You guys have a great day.